there are a lot of a lot of business reasons as far as you know greater loyalty among employees and customers, um, better ability to innovate, those kind of things, and even more profit. But I think for me, it really comes down to uh, it's a very human on a very human level, which is that every single one of us, uh, I believe, deserves to wake up inspired to go to work, feel safe while we're at work, and go home at the end of the day fulfilled by the work that we do. I mean, most of us spend most of our days at work, uh, and so having a, an organization that starts with why, who understands the purpose behind the work that they do, is an inspiring place to work. It's a place that people want to come to. It's a place where people will give their energy, their time, their talents, their resources to do work that matters to them. And when you have people working for you that do that, the natural result is better profit or more market share, whatever it is that you're looking for. So it's a very human reason that has implications to, for, the, for the numbers and the growth of the business as well. No, uh, it's different uh, in, in the sense that you have technology interacting with your customers rather than you directly interacting with your customers. Uh, however, you know, the, the, the apps that I love to use or the, the software that I love to interact with, I can tell that the people who built it really care about me. So I'll give you a simple example, right? So I use um, a piece of software that helps me to manage projects and that kind of stuff. So when I log in, it doesn't tell me, you know, it doesn't have a little scroll bar that says authenticating or a little thing that says logging in, logging in, logging in. It comes up with little messages. It says, we're really glad you're here. Or you look nice today. Or just thoughtful little things that, yeah, it's, it's technology. It's not a person interacting with me but I can tell that the people on the other end actually care about their product. They care about their people, they care about the, uh, the experience that they're giving to me. So I think you have to be a little more creative in when you have a digital platform because you don't have that, that human touch, but you can put the human touch into your digital platform. Uh, and it's, it's sometimes difficult to make that translation, but if you do it right and if you are truly a company that starts with why and that thinks of not the technology that you're building, but the people that are using it. And if you truly care about the people that are using it and the people that are building it for you, that becomes the medium that can communicate your message. It's difficult in the sense that it takes time. This is a process, this is a long-term strategy. The why is not something that will bring you necessarily short-term gains. And I think the reason that it's so difficult for people to implement or why a lot of organizations don't implement it is because they don't see the short-term success, uh, always. And we are, the way that our, our business world is set up, it's based on short-term success. So we need to get the monthly numbers or the quarterly numbers or the yearly numbers or we don't count that as success. So when you start with why, when you begin to build this culture, when you start to, to make decisions based on what you believe rather than what the numbers will be that quarter, you will maybe make decisions that hurt the numbers temporarily. You might have to get rid of some clients who do not fit with what you believe. You might have to get rid of employees who do not fit with what you believe. And you might actually see initially a little dip in your numbers. And most organizations are not prepared to, to have that dip before they see the increase. And so for that reason, it's difficult for them to start with why because they are so focused or feel pressured uh, to, to hit those numbers. But if you can stand that little dip, uh, if you can take that short-term pain, the long-term progress can be remarkable.